Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Carla and I'm a third year neuroscience student on the pre-med track. And as I'm coming closer to the end of my college career, I've learned some study techniques some study habits. And so today I wanted to share with you the framework that I've developed over time and perhaps give you some ideas that you can try out and add to your own study framework. I feel like this is the video that I would have liked to see when I was starting out. So yeah, let's get started. I definitely remember that in my first semester of college, I checked out Ali Abdal's channel. It just popped up in my recommended and it was a active recall study framework and I found it very, very helpful. But once I started to apply the techniques, I didn't feel like they suited me exactly. So the overall framework that I've been using it's based on the idea that we're trying to actually learn all this knowledge and add it to our full scope of information that we know. So that means, of course, making connections across different subjects and making connections across different things that we know how to do. Like, for example, the way that I learned how to play guitar can also help me study biology or something like that. And the main idea behind that is that we all have different ways of learning. And if you already know how to learn something in a different way, it makes it so much easier when you're trying to learn something that you need for school because you're just trying to apply it to the full scope of knowledge that you have. I tried to simplify my learning process because I found that reading textbooks is like, it's fine, but that's not how I like to learn. How I like to learn, it's more like casual and actually understanding the ideas and then that actual understanding is really what's going to carry you to do well even if it's a multiple choice or a written response test. So the overall flow goes like this. During class I'll take notes and I'll make it in a mind map in order to find the connections. Then I try to summarize these connections onto a final sheet and then I make flashcards in order to apply active recall. I don't always do it in like this exact order but I found it really helpful to be able to use notes from class, find the connections and then find a way to test yourself. So in my mind maps what I really like to do is I will start making connections and I number it throughout. It's really important to number it so when you're making a final sheet, you can see like the order of how things work. And so then you have it in two different organizations. But also I really liked that you could see where you have holes in your knowledge. So if you don't see how something connects or you can actually make physical connections on the mind map, I found that super, super helpful. I also really like to draw pictures. So I kind of clump them together in this mind map kind of title. But I'll draw pictures, let's say if we're learning about a process, I'll go ahead and draw the cell and I'll try to show how it actually works. I found it so much easier when I could visualize like the cell and this is what it's doing. And I would like draw the steps and then I would draw that it would go to like this other section and then, and then this other section would do this other whole other process. And I found that so, so, so helpful. So the next step, I call it the final sheet, but it's basically just a study guide. We go through all of the mind maps and you just type it up. And it kind of gives you a different organization and this is going to help when you're going to make flashcards because when you make the study guide you can clump the different ideas together then when you make your flashcards you can make each flashcard a different section the last point on the study guide is that it's important to synthesize and kind of summarize each of the key points and kind of make it smaller so it's not like one subject is gonna be like five pages because that's gonna be really hard to understand but if you have like perhaps one paragraph to describe each section it's a lot easier to be able to understand it and then you can make like a whole story with all the connections from the lecture. So on your study guide, it's just gonna be like the same thing that you have on your flashcards, but it's gonna be kind of like a key. And so it, it makes it a lot easier when you have kind of an outline of what you need to know. And you of course can make that yourself through all the lectures and through this process. So in the active recall coloring system, that's kind of what I use in my flashcards. I like to make real like paper flashcards. I'll go through each of the flashcards. We look at the subjects from the study guide and then we write it without actually reading any of the material from the study guide. We're just trying to do it from our memory. And I'll go through it in black. Anything that I don't understand so well, I'll do it in pencil. Like if I'm not 100% sure, I don't want to write it down in pen because that's like more permanent than pencil. So after we go through all the flashcards, all the topics for the test, everything that we can remember, everything that we know from going through our study guide and not looking at the answers, then we're gonna go in blue pen. So any topics that are like, are, I'm kind of okay with, like I kind of understand a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. When I'm going through the revisions, I'll write it in blue because it's a thought that crossed my mind. Like it's not something I need to like wrote, memorize and like insert it into my memory, but it's rather something that I can find better connections and understand better. If it's something that I don't understand at all, I write that in red because that makes it easier to distinguish when you're going through your flashcards later, which ones you really need to focus on versus which ones are you're like kind of okay with. And then when I'm going through the flashcards, I'll make two piles. These I'm good with, these I'm not so good with. Then we kind of take the not so good with and keep going, keep drilling them. I like to say them to myself because if I'm doing it in my head, I sometimes like will just get distracted or I'll start daydreaming. But if I say it out loud, it kind of uses different modalities, different senses to make sure you understand the material. So let's say you hear the material, 
you wrote down the material, you see the material, and now you're speaking it. And that's kind of incorporating all of your senses, which makes it a lot easier to learn things because you have more places you can pull the knowledge from. It's just more connections. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos from me. And if you enjoyed this video in specific, this type of video, uh, just leave me a comment below and I'll try to make more videos like this. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one.